Hi folks, Jeremy Stretch here again, uh, founder and lead maintainer of the Netbox project. Uh, in this video, we're going to look at a new, in, uh, new feature in Netbox 3.2, it's coming out very soon, uh, which is the ability to set default user preferences. Uh, so let's take a look at the UI here. Uh, we're gonna look at this sites table for this example. All right, so here's the default configuration for sites. So if, you, if you've never you know, reconfigured a table, this is what you're gonna see. You're gonna see the columns, uh, name, status, facility, region, and so on. Uh, but maybe, you know, depending on your use case for Netbox, maybe you don't want yourself or, you know, anyone on your team um, to, to see these default columns. Maybe you, you have different, different preferences. So, for example, maybe you don't use uh, the tenant column. So let's get rid of that. And instead, uh, let's, let's say we want to see time zone. And um, maybe you don't use uh, grouping. Maybe you just use region. You don't use the facility code, but you do set... Um, uh, ASNs. You want to see how many ASNs are assigned to it. I don't know. I'm just picking random stuff. You, you get the idea. So we'll save that and say, all right, cool. This is exactly what I want to see, right? In fact, maybe let's move the time zone column, uh, move it up a couple just, just to show that we can do that. All right. So now we're seeing name, status, time zone, right? Uh, and this is saved as my preference. So right now I'm logged in as the admin user on this account. Uh, so anytime I go, you know, if I go back to the tenant list or whatever, and I go back to sites, uh, that's going to be retained, right? This is still going to show me the exact same thing every time I go there, unless I go here and either, you know, change the configuration or wipe it out by doing the reset button here. Uh, I, another way I can look at that is if I go to my profile, uh, sorry, preferences, if we go to my preferences at the bottom here, you see table configuration. So this is all the custom table configurations that I've got set up for my current user account. Uh, and I'm going to see you know, under a site table here, we can see we haven't defined an ordering, but we do have a columns. So these are the names of the columns that we've set up uh, and, and in the order in which we've set them up. Uh, so default user preferences is basically, it's a new feature in 3.2 that allows you to predefine that kind of preference for uh, uh, to, to system-wide defaults for new user accounts. So basically anyone who hasn't configured their own preferences for you know, a certain table or what have you uh, will inherit uh, uh, those from the system default. So let's take a look at how to do that now. I'm going to open uh, PyCharm, which is my IDE, uh, and pull up the configuration.py file. And at the bottom here, I'm going to add uh, this configuration parameter, which you see documented here. Uh, quick caveat, I am using the beta 2 release of Netbox version 3.2. So if you're watching this a little bit later on, um, it, you know, a 3.2.0 or later release, there might be some slight differences. But ultimately, you know, it should be more or less the same thing. Uh, so to define this, I'm just going to set a configuration parameter, just like I would do for anything else. Uh, and it's called default user preferences. So let's go ahead and define that. And we see here it should be a dictionary. Uh, and in our case, uh, the example here is for just a pagination, which is something we, uh, something else we can do. But in our case, we're going to set tables. So let's go back to there. I'm just going to add this at the bottom here. We're going to create a dictionary. Uh, and the, the root key here is going to be tables which itself is going to be a dictionary mapping table names to, um, to preferences. So if we take a look back at our UI and we see the preferences, we see that our table name is site table. So let's put that in there. All right, so we're gonna call it site table. And what we wanna do is have, uh, so that's gonna be a dictionary. Uh, and there are two things that we can actually, we can set under there. There's ordering and there's columns. We don't care about ordering right now, but we wanna set our columns. So columns is going to be a list of uh, column names. So let's see what those were. All right, so what we had to find here is name, status, time zone, region, description, and ASN count. So let's copy those over. And we'll define those. Now, obviously, it's Python, so those need to be strings. So we'll do that real quick. All right. That looks good, I believe. Uh, cool. Now I happen to be running the development server locally, so it's going to automatically restart when I modify the configuration file. Uh, if you're doing this in production, you'll need to uh, obviously restart Netbox for the new configuration to take uh, to take effect. Or uh, you can also define these as dynamic configuration parameters, which I'll touch on in a second. All right, so let's go back to our UI. Now if I go to sites, and let's say, um, just to help demonstrate this, let's say I'm messing around here and I want to see the physical address instead of some other stuff. So I'm just get rid of that. So I'll save. Now here's my new configuration. All right, 
nothing's taken effect yet. This is still using my personal config. When I say personal, the, the, the um, configuration for the admin account, which I'm logged in under. All right, so this is my configuration. But let's say I'm done with that, and I want to go back to the default now. If I go to reset, notice that now when I've reset it, it goes back to what it was before. Now, if I log in, uh, let's say I'm going to log out, and I'm going to log in as an entirely separate user now who um, doesn't actually think, uh, let's use Alice. Uh, this is just a pre-configured user in the system. Uh, so Alice doesn't have any table configurations in here, but notice when I go to the sites under Alice, I see the same exact configuration that was defined in the configuration um, setting. Uh, I can do some other stuff too. Like if I wanted to set ordering, like maybe I want to order it by region for some reason, uh, I can do that, right? So if we affect, you know, um, order the table by region, we can do that. If we go back into here under uh, columns, we can also define ordering. And ordering will be, uh, let's see. So Netbox will remember your order, uh, I believe. So if we go to under Alice now, if we go to her preferences, oop, I got caught in the middle of a reload. There we go. Right, notice that ordering here is um, minus region basically and saying it's ordering, we happen to be ordering uh, in region uh, inversely. Uh, but let's say that's what we wanna do for some reason. So we can do that. Uh, ordering itself is also a list uh, because it's possible to, I, I think, <laughs> order by um, multiple fields. So let's do that. All right, so let's go back. So we've, let me see, we've saved that now as our default. So if I go to back to the site, uh, go back to the sites list here, and I just wipe out my, or Alice's preference again. There we go. We see it is named, uh, it is ordered by region. Now the the ordering of these regions, um, incidentally, doesn't quite make sense because it's not ordering strictly alphanumerically, um, but that's okay. Uh, we see that the important part is that the region is, uh, is defined. If we go back to uh, here, and let's say we just want to go by name again. Uh, we can do that. Or maybe by like ASN count, we could do that. I just don't have any good values to use right there. Uh, so if we go back, oops, and reload this again. I wonder if that took effect. If it ordering, oh wait, I have to, um, whoops, I have to clear up. Just, uh, whoops, I need to reset. Uh, my, my personal configuration, right? And now we see, see the little arrow there where it's ordering uh, inversely by name. And if we wanted to, you know, not use, so I kind of skipped over that, the, the uh, prepending the, the name of the column or the field with uh, a hyphen uh, basically negates it just in, inverse the order. So if I go back here, now if I reload it, because I don't have a, a, a per personal preference set, right? If I go back here, now that I'm logged in under, under Alice, see for site table, I don't have ordering or columns set. So it's just inheriting everything from the default. So now if I reload this, you'll see that it should order, yeah, it orders name in alphabetical order as you'd expect. Um, so pretty simple, there's not a whole lot to it. Obviously you can play around. Um, the recommended uh, approach for, for this kind of thing is uh, if you want to you know, create a custom table configuration or a custom list configuration for, for your team or your group, uh, what you would do is do it under your own account first and then go to that preferences view and say, okay, this is basically what I need. I know what I need. Um, so again, just to give you an example, if I save this, now this is a snapshot for, for Alice, regardless of what the system configuration is, this is hers. So if I uh, show that, right, so this will show the ordering and columns that you can set under here um, in configuration.py, so default user preferences. And as was alluded to in the uh, documentation. We can also do things like um, pagination. So for example, if I wanted to set, so, pr so pretty much anything you see in this form here, page length, paginate replacement, all you know, et cetera, that can also be replicated in configuration.py. And this gives you the hint here as to where, what you would configure. So for example, uh, my logged in as Alice right now, um, my, my pagination setting is set to uh, 25, I believe. So if I go to a list that has more than 25 objects, like the virtual machines list here, uh, it is at the 50. Okay, let me see. So if I go back here and save that now, if I save my, my preference, that should be set to 50. 
or I'm sorry, let me put that back as uh, 25. So I save that as 25. And now if I reload virtual machines, right now it's 25. Um, so I can set that if I want, you know, if Alice wants her, her default pagination preference, or if you want for all users, their default pagination preference to be 25 or 50 or 100, you can set that in there as well. Um, just as prescribed in the documentation. The other thing I'll note real quick is uh, we've been defining these in configuration.py as static preferences, meaning only an admin with access to you know the underlying um, shell, the, the, the file access can actually set these. However, they can also be set via the um, via the admin UI. So if I take this out of here, I'm going to save that file and I have it reload. And now I'm going to I'm going to log back in as admin real quick. Now if I go here and I wipe out, I'm just going to uh, wipe out this uh, configuration again. So I'm back to stock right now. This is this is as prescribed by NetBox default, right out of the box. Uh, now if I go to the admin user interface over here, and I add a new config revision, and I go down to where we have uh, default preferences, I'm going to enter our uh, default user preferences text right here. I need to still need to fix the um, font here. That should be monospaced, so apologies for that. But this is the same exact thing that we've had defined under, under configuration.py. If I save that, uh, let's give me, oh, oh my, <laughs> of course, JSON doesn't use single quotes. JSON uses multi double quotes. Okay, obviously. All right, let's save that. All right, so now if I go um, to my sites list, we'll see that my format has changed again. So what's cool about that is uh, an admin can change those kind of configuration variables directly through the UI. That's another new function in, in 3.2. I think we have a separate video on that, uh, but if not, obviously it's pretty, pretty simple to access. Um, so just FYI, this can be done through the UI as well. Uh, hopefully you found this useful and you'll have lots and lots of fun uh, creating custom tables and, and other preferences for your users. Um, if you run into any issues doing so, uh, you know, pl uh, please feel free to join our uh, NetDev community Slack. Um, NetDev.chat is the domain to get started with that. Or uh, you, know, you can always open a GitHub discussion uh, asking for, for assistance with that. Uh, hope you found this useful and I'll see you next time.